Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. <clears throat> Just to be very specific, we are at 97,264 subscribers. We have less than 2,800 to finish our target of 100,000. So I see actually by mid the coming month, we shall have really hit a hundred thousand subscribers kaka as much as we are dealing with someone who doesn't take advice seriously that does not mean we keep quiet from speaking as much as we know we are dealing with a liar that doesn't guarantee us to keep quiet and watch because it's better we speak than staying silent. Staying silent creates more harm than speaking. Nivizuri, we know we address these issues, but the one to be addressed refuse to listen for the sake of our future generations. We cannot give up. Taruto is telling lies, we should just, you know, we shouldn't do that. If we've decided to deal with this government, we must deal it from every quarters. Today, I was going through internet and found the following video clip. Nini munajua budget imesomwa juzi. Hiyo budget inataka kuongeza bei ya maji. Sijui yongeze bei ya mkate. Sijui yongeze bei ya unga, sijui yongeze bei ya ndudhi. Sisi tunataka kuambia hiyo budget haiwezi kupita kwa bunge. Na ikipita kwa bunge miezi mitatu tu baadaye tutaibadilisha iwe ni budget ya mwananchi wa kawaida. Sisi kama Kenya kwanza, sisi kama UDA, kitu ya kwanza tutafanya ni supplementary budget ambayo itapereka maisha ya wa Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope you've watched and listened to the statements in that video clip. This is William Ruto speaking, and according to my library, William Ruto was speaking this in the year 2022. I want to get the exact month. He was speaking in June 2022. And uh, this was a few months to the general election. And Ruto was seeking relevance from the people of the Republic of Kenya. He is speaking when by then Jubilee government or the Jubilee parliament was about to work on the 2021 when the members of parliament were preparing to work on the budget of 2022 2022 2023 yes uh though 2021 but i think this was a 2022 2023 budget and in this ruto is vowing and saying io budget I want to repeat it. Ataka ni irudie. Nini munajua budget imesomwa juzi. Mm-hmm. Hiyo budget inataka kuongeza bei ya maji. Mm-hmm. Sijui yongeze bei ya mkate. Mm-hmm. Sijui yongeze bei ya unga. Mm-hmm. Sijui yongeze bei ya ndudhi. Mm-hmm. Sisi tunataka kuambia hiyo budget haiwezi kupita kwa bunge. Mm-hmm. So, Ruto mobilized members of parliament to reject the budget. Ruto mobilized the public 
against Uhuru Kenyatta's budget. Ruto incited the public against Uhuru Kenyatta's budget. He is speaking in public and it's not Photoshop as Kiare always says. Now, based on this video clip, the Gen Z's are holding William Ruto into account and asking him the same way you are rejecting this budget is the same way we are also rejecting your finance bill. The same way you are alluding that Uhuru Kenyatta through that budget was seeking to increase the cost of bread is the very same reason the Gen Z's wants to reject your finance bill because you had proposed to increase the cost of bread. Mr. William Ruto, why are you behaving as if you were elected straight from Uganda? Why are you behaving as if you were elected from the United States and you came to Kenya just to rule and go back? This is your own words. This is your own voice. This is your own video, William Ruto. When you are speaking from top of vehicles, there is absolutely no one who threatened you. When you are speaking from top of vehicles, there is no one absolutely came for you. When you are threatening Uru Kenyatta from on top of vehicles, there is no one who intimidated you on your divergent opinion as far as that budget was concerned. Why are you then now, do you want to abduct the people who are expressing the same opinions you had in 2022? Why are you killing the very people who are having the same divergent opinion that you had in person in 2022. We are asking you these simple questions. You respond to us. You have purportedly withdrawn the bill. Which you have no powers to. You have lied to us. That you've listened. You are playing victim. You are playing holier. So that the young people. Can call off their demonstrations tomorrow. I want to tell you, it's high time we hold you accountable based on your very own sentiments. The way you rejected this budget is the very same way we are rejecting your finance bill. The same way you are castigating Uhuru Kenyatta is the very same way we, the people of Kenya, are castigating your expensive Finance bill. The same way you rejected the hiking of taxes in that budget is the same way, Mr. William Ruto, we are rejecting your hiking taxes today. There is no difference. They say history repeats itself. And for this one, the same sword you used against Uhuru Kenyatta is the very same sword that is going to be used against you. I don't want to lie to you that all is soft. I don't want to lie to you that your speech today has convinced even a single Gen Z. I don't want to lie to you that withdrawing that bill today, which you are purported to, has moved even a single Gen Z not to show up tomorrow. The protest in Kenya, and I've said this several and I repeat, it is not about the finance bill alone. There are so many things we want to put in order in the Republic of Kenya. So many things. We want to sanitize the political space in this country. You've heard Oscar Sudi 
has withdrawn all his functions, including charity functions. For English sake, how do you go to an event, a mere member of parliament, to contribute 20 million? Those are some of the things Gen Z's are dealing with. Your extravagant lifestyle in the government is what Gen Z's are dealing with. We want to tell you, the day we wanted a dialogue ended, there is no amount of con con convincing that is going to cow the Gen Z's down. Today, the pretending Gashawa has given us a true picture of your government. He is hinted on us, on the NIS. I asked myself, you want to tell me that NIS wasn't aware of what was happening in this country? Unataka kuniambia intelligence haikujua kwamba maandamano ilikuwa inapangwa na Gen Z. You want to tell me so? And by the way, you know, the importance of this government is Gen Z is especially our ladies in campus, najua ni warembo, watoto wazuri, watoto wa melelewa wako na sura. Those young ladies are friends in the military. They are male friends in the military. So, a lady, you know, the power of a woman a lady takes a phone and a pigia military. Aki woye habari ya jioni. Nasikia muna kwa deploidikesho. Kwa muna kuja. Mwana ume unatoboka na ambia. Eee, tunakuja kesho. Because you can't. The power of a woman. Gen Z's wanapata information. They get briefs each and every day than even William Ruto. Nyinyi kaeni hapo mukifikiria financials ni LGBTQ. Nyinyi kaeni hapo mukifikiria financials ni Uru Kenyatta. Nyinyi kaeni hapo mukifikiria financials ni United States of America. Nyinyi kaeni hapo mukifikiria financial ni Illuminati. Kitawaramba our Gen Z they are updated each and every day. Our girls get information hata tukitaka saa hii any information hata kutoka kwa Ruto mwenyewe tutaipata. Hakuna kitu hawajui. Hawa sichana akiamua kunyosha sauti vizuri azungumzie mwanaume. Ah Wanatoboka hapa la information yote wadamuwa wana hakuna kitu utasema. Kwa bless you, ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next video. Asante ni sana.